Yeah, and welcome to walk through a PK gam here and all that stuff. So, what I plan on doing here is depositing my rupees in the bank, saving, and returning to the dawn of the first day. So you know what that means. Take it all! Take it all! Save and return to the dawn of the first day. The quickest way to the ocean is through the west gate! I'm not ready, dang it! I am slowing down time, and I'm gonna do some side quests. How do you like those, apples, tattle? Get those 100 rupees from the chest as usual. Okay, now I got something cool to show you here. Now that you can become a Goron, you can now roll through this grass to get stuff really quickly. So, grinding for stuff after you reset time, not nearly as difficult. <laughs> so now that we got some arrows, I'm gonna go ahead over to the Snowhead Temple and beat Goat again to show you a different, oops, different sort of method on how to defeat him. So I gotta do the routine all over again there too. Yeah, play the Goron's lullaby to lull him to sleep. <laughs> I, yeah, you stupid snowball! Alright, now they were in the Snowhead Temple. Finally. Remember, once you beat the boss, you can go straight to the boss. That's what I'm gonna do. And you're probably wondering, why am I just re-beating the boss at the start of the part? Well, the thing that I want to do is something that's got to be done starting on the first day, because it takes two days for this whole rigmarole to actually finish up its rounds. Let's just put it that way. You'll, you'll see when we get to it, but first, let's just get this fight started, and I'll show you the alternate method on how to beat Goat, and it's, it's much, much longer, so I'm probably not going to show you all of it, but I just want to show you the method for the sake of showing you the method. <laughs> so instead of being a Goron and chasing after him, we're just gonna we're just gonna kinda get some arrows here. We're gonna we're gonna hang out over here. You can use these regular fire arrows, I do believe. I'm just gonna whip out my fire arrows and wait for him to come around. I think it's gonna come around this way because he went around in that direction. And we just wait. And we wait. A lot of waiting. Here he comes. Yep, see? He hurts. He's in pain, and then you gotta wait again. And wait again. It's, it's, it takes a long, long time, which is why I use the Goron method. <laughs> but this is a relatively safe method, though. I guess you could say, if, if you don't mind that you're kind of burning time and whatnot. Uh, there he is. Alright, you get the idea here. Let's just turn into a Goron and do this the regular way. <laughs> oh, pfft. It just came out of nowhere. Okay, I win. Obviously, the reason for beating Goat is to rethaw this place again all over the place. And look at that, there's a bee. It's a bee! Oh my goodness, it's a bee! I can't believe it! Well, it's a giant bee. Don't ask me. You can either fight or run, it's up to you. Yeah, this is what those bees look like a little close up. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't really able to show that before. Alright, so why did I thaw everything out again? Well... Well, see this place here? Remember this place? Yeah, the, the, the swordsmith place. Well, the burner is now thawed out. You don't need hot spring water now. But the thing about this is that I also need to get some gold dust in order to forge my sword to the maximum. So, yeah, that's also something that's going to need to be done after beating Go too. So, that's why it's all got to be done on the first day. Sorry, but we only do swords and cutlery. So yeah, he's not gonna help the Goron, he's got no swords whatsoever. Oh, a customer. Ah, Gaborah, fetch our customer some coffee, quick like! Oh then, please let me take a look at your sword. Hmm. Alright, to reforge your sword, it will cost you 100 rupees. It'll be ready at sunrise. You have to let us hold on to your sword until then. Keep in mind that after you use your reforged sword 100 times, it will lose its edge and it'll be back to its original sharpness. This doesn't make sense based on the design of the razor sword, as you'll see. 
Because I don't know how it transforms back into what they make it from, back into this Kikori sword that you currently have, but you'll see. So would you like your sword reforged? Yes, I would love that! It's so convenient that I got that, uh, the power of the, uh, rupee in the chest over at Clocktown. Alright, let's now turn back into a Goron, and you remember that there was a blocked area over back at the village? Uh, oh shoot, this is the way back out. Remember there was a way that was frozen around the village? It, it was like around the perimeter area. I'm not, I know I'm not being very descriptive here, but... Well, we're gonna... We're gonna I'll show you. <laughs> let's just put it that way. So let's get ourselves back over to... Oh shoot, I'm gonna drown the water. Oh shoot, I'm not gonna drown... Oh! I drowned the water. <laughs> Yeah, that's not really probably the best way to get across there. <laughs> uh, I know I can do that! I know I can do that! Yeah! Alright, I'm done here. <laughs> Alright, going back to the village. So that's what happens if you should fall into the water as a Goron, of course. And we are going around the perimeter. Remember, this was the place we got the Lens of Truth. And we came around this... Wait, maybe we didn't come around here at some point. Well, this place is normally frozen by ice. And uh, it's the Goron Powder Cake Shop. New customers will be tested on proper usage. The shopkeeper. Uh, can I climb up? I can't climb up as a Goron. Are you serious? They are serious. <laughs> Alright, fine. Be that way. Going down here. You can punch this crate right open because why not? And this guy is going to be like... I'm the Goron who sells the famous powder keg, the most famous product of the Gorons. On a powder keg, powder kegs explode with powerful blasts and are very dangerous. Until I test you to, you to see if you can use them properly, I can't let you use any on your own. Will you give it a try? I would like to! <laughs> you can destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance to the Goron racetrack near here. Using the powder keg I'm about to give you, I'll approve you to carry them. Woo! Oh, it's already lit! Why did you do that? When the powder cake begins sticking faster, it means that it's about to explode. By the way, you have to be a Goron to do this. Try to block the boulder blocking the Goron racetrack entrance without the powder cake exploding on the way. There's a sign near the racetrack, so keep an eye out for it. When you're finished, come see me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, we gotta hurry. So, to do this, we gotta do this. Gotta throw it up here. Oh, I wanna pick up... I wanna... Uh, I want to pick up. I want to throw. There's actually plenty of time to do this, so it's okay if you stumble a little bit. Just, just kind of stay relaxed. Do it as smoothly as possible. Just grab it and now go. We want to leave the village area and go to the other outside, past the Wolfus and stuff like that. So we've got to avoid stuff along the way, which might be tricky depending on which route you take. So I'm taking this route because I know it's relatively clear if you don't mind. So yeah, look at that! Nice and clear, and it's also pretty short. So that is part one of our little powder keg quest of sorts. And now we are going to take it across the water, away from the Wolfos. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna kinda cause you ire maybe, because you're going so slow. But just, just play it smart and just let them swat at the air and you'll be okay. You can swat, there you go. And now, past this door will be the place that I am looking for. I... Oh, wait, oh shoot, wait a second. No, no, it's not past the door, it's up here, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, it was almost a wasted time there. Okay, it was technically a bit of wasted time, but... Yeah, just gotta get it up over here. This That sign there it says it's a go-on racetrack, but I'm just going to... Get this in the oh right 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 e oh there's our crying baby there we go let's grab this let's drop it by shielding ourselves and then we can read this sign <laughs> Goron race tracker had the race season is currently underway so how's it going there ah oh, darmy now that it's nice and warm out I'm much much better even if my daddy isn't right beside me I won't be selfish and cry so now that spring has come the Goron race should be starting soon but. But this rock is in the way, so I can't get them to see the race. And spring's just started too. I was so excited, but there's nothing I can do. Oh god, no! I hate it, I hate it, I wanna see it, I wanna see the race! Just do something, please, just blow up faster! Yeah, you can't blow up those rocks with regular bombs, so you've gotta use the power of the powder keg. 
And, you know, you could do this a little bit faster, actually. If I were to say, uh, blow it up with an arrow. Oh, shoot. Well, that's... Okay, that worked. It, it, it nicked it. You did it! Thanks a lot! I'm going right in! I'll be waiting for you so you don't have to come to see it! And there he goes. Voila. Alright. <laughs> I feel like cutscene was overly long. But whatever, whatever. We are inside, and we can do this while our sword is being forged. So why not? Let's, let's chat with the Gorons here too. Damani, are you ready? I'm ready to go! I am too. This year I'm feeling a little different. Um... You guys, you guys, oh, you guys don't talk? You two don't say anything? You're just kind of massaging? This year is my debut at the races. Please go easy on me. And, ah, oh, darn me, I've been waiting for you. See, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. You're going to enter, aren't you? Yes, I am. You have to. I want to show everyone how darn me races. If your magic power runs low, charge it up with the green jars on the course. Oh, we know this from the boss. Now, this is a race. We're, we're, we're... Yeah, we just kind of spawn out of nowhere. <laughs> and, uh, get ready to race. But don't race too vigorously. Let's just let's just put it that way. And, uh, I think there's a way to get a rocket start or something like that at the start, but I, I forgot how to do that. But it doesn't really matter anyway, because... See, there's a rubber band effect. Yeah, it's that annoying rubber band effect of... Mario Kart N64 and, well, Mario Kart 64 as well as Super Mario Kart and various other racing games. So you don't want to get too far ahead. So you just kind of, kind of want to just kind of hang out in the middle of the pack. Don't hit the bombs and stuff like that too. That's a, that's a thing. And at the end you'll be able to overtake them, in theory. If you kind of bounce into them to slow them down, like like I do occasionally, oh shoot! Ah, doesn't matter that much. I think I think I'll be able to catch up. And there we go. You guys remember the rubber band effects? They they don't go faster than you if they're ahead of you. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and get one of these pots here. To well, maybe I won't be able to. No, no, not quite. Ooh, do I almost fill off that? Don't fall off this bridge, though, too, by the way. You'll have to pretty much restart and have essentially lost the race. I mean, a race loss, excuse me. So, yeah. Alright, now is the point that we're going to start trying to volley for position, I guess you could say. Um, hopefully this will work out okay. Uh, I probably want to stay near the ends, but I think I'll be able to catch up with him before the end. Oh, not quite. It was close. This this race has got kind of a randomizer to it, so it might might take you a few tries, but I was close in my manipulation. You're just a little stiff because winter is so long. You're not really like this. Remember how good you really are to enter the races again. You bet I am. It's free to enter those races, so we have unlimited shots at doing it. Especially since our sword is still being forged. So okay, here we go. Go! Band, come and get me! So yeah, it's it's a lot of manipulation tactics if you want to get into first place. Between yeah, knocking them out of the lead and keep it, ah, keeping your lead near the end. It's it's a thing, as Ralka would say. <laughs> so it it might take you a bunch of tries or twenty. I wouldn't be surprised because this game is really annoying. But, you know, that's Majora's Mask in a nutshell. You should be used to this right now. <laughs> I should say used to it by now, not right now. Uh, let's not bounce off the trees this time. See, there was plenty of time to catch up. I just didn't take the ending turns tight enough. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, there's all the races are right there. Oh, I, I don't care if I get bounced around. I got my magic meter maxed out here. Oh, oh, oh no, you don't. <laughs> I, oh, no, don't knock me off completely, please. That would be disastrous. Uh, ah, I, I'm not sure. Oh, someone actually got knocked off the bridge. I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, if I was those Gorons off to the side, I wouldn't stand in the potential racer's paths. I mean, I know they're close to the edge and stuff like that, but they're not exactly well protected. <laughs> All right, I might be able to pull off the victory if I get close enough. 
to the edge. Uh, it's about the same. Dang it. Ah! It's all about the AI manipulation. Oh shoot, I'm out of my spiky form. That's dangerous. Oh, that's why it's dangerous. <laughs> ah, poopers. Uh oh, rubber band effect. Rubber band effect. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> oh! I thought I had at that time a rubber band effect. It was too strong. Too strong. Wait, wait, maybe I've, maybe I've got it? Oh no, he sped up near the end. Mm. Hate this game! <laughs> Just seriously, why do you have to be this way? Why did you add a rubber band effect and all sorts of aspects that can knock you out? Ah. Eh. Go! <laughs> I didn't quite get a full start because you see you could actually get a full start by going through the uh, um, starter line a little bit early but I'm trying to get myself as tight to that edge as possible to the go signal <laughs> it doesn't really help all that much but it's something that you can do I guess to get the early controlling lead of sorts get out of my way you sucker <laughs> yeah I think it's when you're flashing red that they can knock you out of your spiky form so you can't be too aggressive in that way, because if you if you keep trying to bash yourself into the other Gorons, you kind of kind of end up getting out of the spiky form at some point yourself, because you're bashing into too many at once. And yeah, I'm gonna try and go around like this rather than do any of the jumps. Oh no, you don't. Oh no 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 no. And every time you're flashing red, it's so scary because it's like oh, oh, oh shoot. Yeah, that's something like that. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, I didn't know if someone was coming up right behind me that was going to hit me, but no one was. Alright, here we go, here we go. This could be the run. This could be the run, assuming that I'm able to do some catching up. Please, no rubber band. Please, no rubber band. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking extremely good. <laughs> Hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Not you, kid. The mini game. But I hate this game. Okay, I hate you too, kid, because you're crying. <laughs> that was great. I knew you were the fastest Goron army. I'm sure you get first place. This is from Daddy. It's the prize. And I got a bottle of gold dust. This is the finest quality available. Not only do we get gold dust for our sword, you'll see after in the second day, I should say, but we've also got a brand new bottle. I want to be just like you, quick. Do uh, uh, you have anything else to say? Come on, into the race. I want to show you how fast you are. No, no, dear lord, no. <laughs> oh no, I, I can't, I can't. No. Oh God! Yes, I hate you. Cry some more. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is here feeling a little different? Okay, no one's got any new dialogue anyway. All right. So I beat the race. Kind of. <laughs> you you can't really ever say that you beat that race. Oops. I am flubbing on my. C stick, there we go. I want to go back over to Clock Town because now that I'm a Goron, I can play another kind of mini game and be able to get a heart piece out of that. So, uh, why did I go all the way around that? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Um, remember that treasure, like ch that, that humongous treasure chest shop place over at, I think it was East Clock Town? Yeah, we're gonna go in there now because there's a heart piece that you can get as a Goron. So let's do that. Oh shoot, that is West Clock Town. Oh shoot, that's right, I'm on the other side. Oh no, oh, and by the way, the dogs don't like Gorons either. So yeah, don't, don't mess with those puppies. Alright, here we go, treasure chest shop right around the corner. Oh shoot, I've only got 18 rupees. I need a bunch more to play this. I'm going to the bank! I, sh I should have been over at West Clock Town. Oh shoot, I didn't want to deposit. I'll do 100. That should be enough to pull this off. So basically, depending on which form you're at, when you go over at that uh, that treasure chest minigame thing, you'll, you'll be able to get different prizes and different results, and you'll even have to pay differently. Yeah, I know, it's, it's discrimination again, but... 
this this lady at the counter apparently has a thing for Gorons. So, while she will charge you the most, she will give you the best prize, and that prize is a heart piece. So let's go in here. Actually, I'll show you here as a kid here really quick. Just to see what she has to say. She's like, oh, come in. Oh, the kid collecting masks. How about it? Wanna play? 20 rupees. No thanks. Oh, really? Too bad. Come again. So let's change forms into a Goron. Well, aren't you a fit fellow? Wanna play? For you, it's 30 rupees. Yeah. Yeah. I think Deku scrubs are uh, 10 rupees. But you only get Deku Nuts as a prize. Anyway, so I, that's why I withdrawed a bunch of these rupees, because I gotta get over to the treasure chests within the time limits. And, uh, yeah, this, I, I believe it's pretty randomized. So, good luck with this, <laughs> if I recall correctly. See, there's these walls that just pop out of nowhere, and you gotta find your way over to that treasure chest before time runs out. Did I find the correct pathway? I don't know. We're gonna see, I guess. Oh, I found the dead end. So yeah, this might take you a couple tries just because of sheer luck. It's just... It's another sucky minigame. But <laughs> what can I say? It's Majora's Mask. <laughs> okay, those seem to be blocked off. Let's try this pathway down this way. No, no, no. Can't go down that way. Oh, shooty, shoot, shoot. I've seen that there... There was no gap there. What? Well, where is there a gap in the wall to let me get to the treasure chest? Was it like over... Oh, shoot. Maybe it was over on this way. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I might have enough time. I might have enough time. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Barely. Just barely. All right. I got a piece of heart. Yeah. <laughs> Side quests completed. Huh. Did you have fun? Um, won't you try again? No, no, <laughs> no. I think you get another one of those purple rupees or, or something like that if you're victorious. So you can kind of grind rupees in a way, but well, well, I, I, I'm not doing that. What I am going to be doing here is playing the song of double time to speed it up and go over to the second day. And then I'll see you back over at the shack that's doing my sword, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, by the way, on the night of the first day, the fairy moves over here. If you're wondering, it, because if you didn't see it in the laundry pool, yeah. <laughs> you just get it with a Deku scrub flower and drop on top of it. Or, you know, the great fairy mask. But, you, you know, you wouldn't have it that early in the game or whatnot. Okay, Mountain Village. We are on the second day. I believe... Well, uh, yeah, we probably need to be a human. But, well, I, I could try being a Goron, I guess, and see what they have to say. They're probably going to say that I'm not the person who left the sword here or something like that. But we'll see. Uh, sorry, but we only do swords and cutlery. Okay, that's, that's the same dialogue as before. I kept you waiting, but it's done, see? I got the Kori Sword upgraded to the Razor Sword. Now, how does that get downgraded back to the Kakori Sword? Like, it's got a whole opening between both halves of the blade and stuff like that. Anyway, it's, it's doubled in power, but it's... Yeah, it'll wear out. And what we can do here is that, is that we can upgrade it once more to not wear out, ever. So, if you bring the, him gold dust before the sword loses its edge, he'll be able to make it the strongest sword around. Well, technically it's not the game's strongest sword, but... Oops, what am I doing? What am... Why did I, put you, why did I press the R button to put it in there? That is not... Here, I'll show you my gold dust. Oh, okay, okay I have to talk to you first. Oh, a customer. Kabor, fetch your customer some coffee quick like. No, let me look at your, look at your sword. Hmm. Hey now, that's a mean joke. Your sword has already been reforged into a razor sword. Unless... You want to make your sword so stronger? Do that, I'll need gold dust. Do you have any? I do. Why, if it isn't gold dust, and it's even top quality. Why, even if you use three forge your sword, and there'll still be some left? Alright, just for you, I'll do it as for free, but don't tell anyone. Thanks for dropping in. Now then, I'm straight off to work. Come back tomorrow morning. Yep, this is why I needed to do this on the dawn of the first day. Well, I should say, I have to start this on the first day because it, it's done every morning, basically. 
kind of like every every stage of the sword is done in the you know it's done by the next morning excuse me so yeah now this is kind of funny even though that he, he said there might be some gold dust left over well uh, you don't get that gold dust back I, he, he kind of takes it for himself <laughs> But that's okay because you you have no other use for the gold dust other than doing this side quest giblets. So dawn of the final day, 24 hours remain, and we can now. Oh, camera, camera. There we go. We can now go back in, and. Hey, I kept you waiting with its sun, see? Behold! The Gilded Sword, and it looks pretty dang cool! Newly forged, your sword is better than ever and will never break! There it is, we can't make a sword stronger than that. No matter how many times you use it, it will never lose its edge. Try it! Oh, I used up most of the gold dust. Just a tiny bit was up, so I got rid of it for you. Even he doesn't believe that. Yeah, he, ke he probably kept it for himself. <laughs> Sorry, it would take until tomorrow morning to sharpen your sword. We're not taking any more orders today. Why you ask? Because tomorrow is the town's carnival, and you can't work during the carnival, can you? So yeah, on the final day, you cannot do any sword, sword sharpening whatsoever. And now, uh, you might have noticed that there's a chest on the map, and since this place is now thawed out, why don't we go behind this waterfall here and uh, check it out? Oh, wait. what What is this? What? What? There's no chest over here. Oh, but there is. <laughs> yeah, you need that to see where the chest is pointing out. And it's just a red rupee. Eh, I just thought I would show you that. Now, remember I said that there was a chest underwater? Over at the other side, um... Way, way back, it was... It was, it was. Over on this side of the map, I do believe... Yeah, well, we can't actually get that until we're able to go underwater, so let's not do that, and, and let's instead go through over here and check this place out just for kicks. And so let's just go on over here and pop up, pop on the Goron mask, because we got a little traversing to do to get up these slopes. There's a hole over here somewhere on one of these stairs, I thought. Yeah, wasn't there a hole? I thought on one of these stairs... No, I thought there was a hole. Was it on another set of stairs that there was a hole? I could have swore there was a... Oh yeah, there's white white and black holes in here. Big deal. <laughs> uh, Gossip Stone is hanging out over there. Uh, there's the hole. There it is. I'm just doing some exploration for the fun of it over here. Just because it's all thought out here and there's nothing really important over here. If I recall correctly, so I'll just open this up and see what we get. It's a red rupee, and I'm gonna lose all all the stuff like sticks and nuts anyway when I reset time. So I'm not bothering to whack those uh, Deku Babas any any which way or anything like that. But now look at this, look at this. We're all the way up here. We're all the way up here. Remember this? Yeah, this is the wall that we scaled to get up here. That was all covered with snow, but we couldn't see without the looking glass. Yeah, so this is over by uh, uh, Darmy's grave. Yep, 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 yep. So here we are. <laughs> so that's where that pathway leads, and it's just, it's just sort of like a, I guess you could say, shortcut in a way, because it's probably faster going around that way uh, for any sort of hot spring water or, or whatever, whatnot. But oops, wait, wait, wait yeah, yes, that's correct. I am going to go plop my rupees in the bank and then go save and quit by playing the Song of Time. By the way, you never seen me play the Song of Time as a Goron, did you? You seen me play the Song of uh, Double Time, I think? Wait, maybe not. I guess I could show the Song of Double Time really quick, just, just for kicks, because why not? Yup. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I can I can do that. It won't hurt anything. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, I think I cut through that stuff before whenever I played the song. Uh, okay, not to the first day. We are all going to die in 12 hours. That is lovely. But don't worry, I'll save us all. 
in theory. Okay, let's put our rupees in the bank. I have not evacuated because I've got to deposit my rupees. There you go. You are welcome. Uh-oh, I got a thousand rupees. I get a special gift. It's a uh, blue rupee. Yeah, I guess I guess that's bank interests 101. <laughs> that's pretty much how banks are like. All right, so let's just go and uh, deposit our five rupees now, I suppose, because I, I kind of kind of have to, otherwise I'll lose that as well, and I'm feeling pretty chintzy. There you go, I'm not, not evacuating. But I am going to play the Song of Time with my bongos and end off the part here. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I continue this game. I really wish it was some other game, you know? You know? <laughs>